Good evening, everybody. I hope you are hearing and seeing me well. It's a lovely um, Wednesday um, evening today, and it, it's great weather, at least here in Estonia. Anyways, I'm glad to present to you this evening uh, the, um, the technology which I myself got familiar about uh, four to five years ago and now I am promoting this um, actively. I'm doing webinars here among with the Skyward community uh, team and I'm honored to present to you the technology that has come here to stay, that has come to rule the world, so to say, or to rock the world because uh, we are in a place these days where it's necessary to build second level transportation systems because the first level infrastructure is just so full already at least in bigger cities in developed countries where there is just no place to no place to put our well to build new houses or new buildings which is cannot dear down sorry there is no place to build new construct new roads because there are houses and buildings which we cannot just tear down so yeah, and again, thank you for participating um, on such short, short notice one hour earlier than it was supposed to be. So I hope everybody are here and, and uh, we can continue. Anyway, my name is Michael, I'm from Estonia and I again have been familiar with Skyway technology and, been, and have been investor and also a promoter and active partner for Skyward community for more than four years by now. So that's huge. All right, I just, uh, due to the turbulences uh, of the connectivity here, I will uh, take off the uh, camera um, option. And so you can just hear my voice and see the presentation so you can focus more on the presentation itself. But all right, the first slide here let's get on uh, this one describes well it, actually this one was painted about 100 years ago and the name of the picture was future in 100 years so this was a procrastination what uh, will happen in the future in 100 years by a visionary and artist and as you can see we are almost there but mainly what i like to describe here on this picture is that um, well, as I mentioned also before, I, I, well, it was a glimpse of information, but I will talk more thoroughly about this now, is that we have a fabulous first level infrastructure. We have all these cars, we have all these tramways, trolleybuses, trains, metros, underground. So we have a minus ground uh, transportation system infrastructures also built at least in developed countries and in developed cities like Paris or um, or Moscow or New York and so on so that's quite amazing so anyhow the well the challenges new challenges occur because well, population grows more more and more people come to live in the cities because there is the work there is money there is parties and so on so whatever reasons those be there are more and more people in the in the well cities living these days so therefore the pro new challenges and prob problems occur and we need something that can manage and well um, soften these challenges and and be a solution and here it is a perfect transportation system uh, well and possibly convertible to network between cities and between countries is here this this is skyway technology it's a beautiful it works fully on electricity it has its own motor wheels um, it can take well not this specific model but uh, the technology itself is capable uh, picking up about or more than 100 people at the time of course well there, there is a wide range of people that were well it, it's a wide range of different models which are capable of carrying different amount of, or different number or different amount of people and cargo 
and then those start with one seat with our unibike then uh, unibus and the tropical unibus has four seats for example then there's eight seated um, models and so on up to we have also two seated high speed unibuses which are basically going up to one uh, 500 kilometers per hour but this specific model and these unicars and unibuses and unibikes i was dis uh, describing before or just now those are going up to 150 kilometers per hour and inside the cities well it's more than we need actually so therefore there are many 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 great uh, opportunities here with skyway but all right let's see what people have done so far with uh, well different technologies not skyway but what uh, well of course many of uh, scientists and uh, technicians and and uh, well many people have already also understood that uh, we need to go to the second level and have tried different technologies as you can see on here on these slides but more specifically let's speak about monorail because this is um, well i can say most similar to skyway by it outlooks only it has a lot as these enormous and large supports as you can see cement supports Yes. So what? Um, but let's see another slide where here is the comparison between Skyway and Monorail. So yeah, the track length as well. It is unlimited with Skyway. So we can build basically or construct a network of, of these uh, tracks, let it be this um, mono tracks or, or um, these two sided tracks, which you can see here. Uh, well, it's double rail, they call it which you can see uh, on upcoming slides and then the speeds of course which I was already there telling you about and then another very important aspect to notice is that our models do not need a driver itself but they um, but they run uh, fully autonomously so yeah Yes, sorry about that interruption. Now I'm back. Uh, yes, the self-driving cars. So basically we have no driver there, fully autonomous. And that's also one great aspect about this technology and, and a innovation as well. Then the traffic interval is very important and it's thoroughly touched or, well, the result is the traffic capacity because, well, the minimum, um, well, the time, the minimum time is basically three seconds after which a new model can leave or depart the station. But of course, we need to mm, bear in mind that the people need to take time to get on board or off the board. So it mostly depends on them. But another great thing is that, um, well, there are these maintenance areas or, this, or the extra station areas where our these empty models which is staying there uh, recharging and basically are waiting and if the necessity comes or, or the traffic um, well goes more active then they will be in use as well so therefore there is stops between mm, different models which take people from one specific point to another are very short so uh, a lot of people can mm, be transported in 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 the specific amount of time comparing with other another uh, another transportation technologies all right let's see on yeah one picture of underground transportation as well this uh, specific transportation system is uh, located in germany and is uh, also quite amazing there and, and fascinating and a lot of people like this but again 
see how uh, in short distance are the supports there. Basically, after 15, 20 meters, there is a new support. And therefore, for the, for the eyesight, it's not so beautiful technology. And also, well, it has many different, uh, well, the Skyway has, has improved much of the idea of this this technology. So this is basically upside down tramway in China and by other technology, technological parts, it mostly do not difference from, from the train, sorry, tramway. Yeah, right, this is cable car there right on top, on the right side. And this is one of the most, as I mentioned before, Monorail is one of the similar, then this one is at the moment one of the most popular, which is uh, being placed all over the world. I have driven myself with this technology multiple times. And I can say that, uh, uh, well, it's nice, of course, being up there, up so high, but uh, it's very slow and it's more of a touristic attraction, I can say again if we compare it with Skyway and, and the main difference why it's not so safe and why it's different than Skyway is if you look at the right side and down there there is a picture of a uh, orange wheel orange engine and this is basically the idea of this cable car technology is that the orange uh, engine will spin the cable and the models there uh, which will, will in which the people are or the cargo is um, located those stay stiffly or cling stiffly to the uh, cable itself so those do not move themselves but the cable moves but with skyway we have uh, different here this that uh, we have our own motor wheels so the uh, skyway model uh, unicar on this picture specifically is moving on the uh, on the track structure and the track structure stays at the same place. Yes, all right. Here is, um, this picture was taken about a few years ago in Echo Technopark. So we have two, uh, Echo, uh, two demonstration and certification centers. One is located in Belarus, where is this picture taken as well. And that one is called Echo Technopark. And the another one is located in Sarja Emirate, uh, in United Arab Emirates then. And that one is called Innovation Center. So we have view of those and we have many certificates for, for many different models already, both in Belarus and in Sarja. And we have also signed multiple um, agreements and, and uh, papers, which says that the address projects will be soon constructed. So that one is also great news for all the investors as well, because 20% of the profits that are made by constructing new um, well tracks and uh, maintaining and, and therefore, well, all these um, doings are being paid and 20% uh, of those profits that goes to the main company, which investors we are as well, uh, then those will be shared with or divided uh, divided to all the investors depending on how much uh, shares they have yeah all right now let's get to the main part of the presentation and uh, and let's see the seven main reasons why skyway is here to stay and why it is much better than all these existing technologies that we have today or that we are using today and why it will change the world most definitely and will be very, very great technology for people to use all around the world. All right. First of all, it is innovative. And as you can see on this picture as well, it's just so beautiful. And the Arabs had their own, well, uh, they wanted that uh, the design will be very specific, very beautiful. And therefore this picture is animation, of course, on the slide, but the same exactly the same uh, same shaped um, track we have also there the first one that was built in united arab emirates the 400 meter track and that uh, is tropical unicar there uh, riding uh, on, under the track structure 
and that one is four seated and also certified by now so that's a huge as well then yes I'm, i have mentioned multiple times this motor wheel then we have this derailment system so basically if we put upside down the um, model on the track structure then uh, then it stays very strongly and uh, well attached to the track structure so it won't go off anywhere so it's very very strong like spider on a wall so yeah here it is another um, example of innovation is that we can use both sides of the rail we can use the upper side and as on this as described on the slide at the moment we can ride above the track structure and therefore it makes it twice efficient one tra uh, track structure comparing for example with trains or tramways and so on etc and then then uh, this is also a very revolutionary aspect to notice then we have um, what makes it so strong and well another um, thing to notice is that we can use our supports as i mentioned before with the monorail and and with um, technology that is used in uh, germany they they have these supports after every 15 20 meters so that doesn't look very good for the eyesight but with skyway we can um, make the difference uh, or the range uh, more than one kilometer between the two supports and mainly it's because this the bigger picture is that this skyway technology is like a bridge there are pre-stressed strings inside the metal body frame inside the rail basically and it's filled with special filler again there can be used different uh, well tubes to transport electricity for example or a fast uh, ultra fast internet cables and etc through the track structure itself and again uh, solar panel panels can be used or attached to the track structure and uh, wind turbines can attach both to the track structure and to the models so we can generate constantly new energy flows to recharge the batteries and then uh, to keep everything working and uh, well on its own so basically its own ecosystem yeah then the second point is that it's ecological as you can see on this picture as well it's it's very beautiful and here on on this specific picture you can see perfectly what i meant by riding above and riding uh, below the track structure at the same time so it can be basically an express line above the track structure which which goes 500 kilometers per hour and doesn't stop uh, so oftenly and below it can be the um, well the, these models or the, or the track which which has multiple stops yeah so co2 level i think i do not have to mention a lot about this this was a very active topic about five years ago or so and now we know it that we are moving toward uh, electricity and uh, and not producing so much direct co2 into the atmosphere by these technologies so yeah we're going more and more toward the electricity and soon there will be basically only well all the new automobiles and so on will be fully running on electricity at least that's the that's the goal for a european union here and many other countries around the world but this picture describes or, or here well this is just to understand what goes on in the world and why we need skyway is that uh, there is so much people all around the world in bigger cities in japan for example on this slide where they have to hire uh, people that are called pushers and basically what they do they push last people on the train to well yeah because there is um, there is no space or the, the space is so tight that they have to push it and then, then the train can go so so this is actually quite crazy and it's it's very hard to understand it that when we live in in small but yes this is this is it yeah sorry once
Yeah, all right, so I'm back now. Let's move on. Then, yeah, well, this slide specifically describes the situation that, it, that we have today, this overpopulation, not the overpopulation, but well, the population growth is rapid and almost each person can, at least grown up person can, can um, have their own car and that causes many, many different new challenges because it's impossible, at least inside the biggest cities, to build new roads because there are buildings, etc. So, so that's why the smart city solution and planning is very actively taking place at the moment in most of the governments all around uh, Europe, at least in the world as well, I think. And that basically means that uh, there will be in the future these parking areas where people can come from all around the places to a specific city, for example, then in suburban area, there are uh, secured parking areas and then they are in a specific zone, parking their car, taking out a specific app, ordering, well, or entering where they want to go. And after that, for example, self-driving mobile or self-driving bus will pick them up, taking them to the Skyway station from where they can easily go to uh, different, well, places they need to go inside the specific zone and then again if after coming off uh, the skyway they can well basically choose a scooter or, or or some another mechanism to ride but this is make this uh, well the solution or this idea is basically well wants to make cities car free Another thing why it's um, ecological is, uh, is uh, because it has very low wind uh, turbulence, sorry, wind resistance. It's mostly because of the shape of the body. And then the another aspect is that it uh, has no screen effect. So basically the wind can go below the skyway models. And since it's uh, up high in the air, riding on the rails, uh, then the wind can go perfectly and clearly beneath the models as well and well yeah if we compare it with cars for example there's an asphalt or there is a road which which makes the wind resistance higher then all these different problems that occur with our first level infrastructure or first level well road structures um, globally different places different problems and different solutions but this all they uh, take a lot of resources to maintain, to clean, and then so on, and to construct as well. But with Skyway, we can take, well, fly over, well, forests, buildings, and so on. We can take the road up high, uh, up up to 100 meters high, if, if we want, and if it's necessary, of course, it costs much more than, but uh, anyhow, it's, it's just a possibility. And uh, even the mountain areas where they make explosions uh, to construct new roads, there we can take over the mountains or, or take the the road, uh, well, different routes, which are not possible with cars, for example. Yeah, and then when we, yeah, on the right side, I just talked about the explos explosion thing in the mountain areas. But on the left side, for example, if we want to construct new railroads, uh, then we have to take, well, clear the path totally, fully. No, for, uh, we have to take down the forests, the houses if necessary. Then we have to dig about seven meters below to fill it with special fillers so the road construction would last longer. And then there will be rails, then there will be fences and, and a security area, the asphalt that secure well, the asphalt road or the path for a security car as well on one side, and then we have to maintain it, it constantly. So it's an enormous project and, and costs a lot. So here it is. Yes, and we have our own, own self-driving um, helicopters as well, mm, autonomous helicopters, which can take basically the supports or the road structures or the models, if necessary, from one point to another without any, well, mm, specific driver on board. 
So again, remotely possible to do many things here. Then uh, rivers, lakes, uh, oceans, depending of course on the tr track length and on the depth, but um, basically the water is no problem as well. We can go perfectly over it. And uh, to prove it, then in Ecotechnoburg in Belarus, there will be soon a new model, ULIGHT, uh, coming up and that one goes, the track for it goes over the lake that's located there. All right, safety. And then uh, this is our last topic today, I believe, and the next time we will uh, discuss further topics. But safety, mm, we can say Skyway is safe and mainly the main thing is that we are well located on the second level, so we are above all the other infrastructures, so there will be no collisions, there will be no traffic jams and so on, so that's mm, the main part uh, which makes the transportation uh, Skyway, I mean, uh, safe. Of course, then we have these 360 degrees cameras that are constantly screening uh, surroundings, getting information to make uh, great choices. For example, if there will be any obstacle on the road or on the path, it immediately discovers it and it will stop the vehicle and so on. So it tries to keep people safe. Then if anything happens with a motor, for example, the battery dies or something happens with the motor wheel and it stops on the track structure, then we have these same similar models. Mm. Um, yeah, so anyway, if uh, if any anything happens and it stops on the track structure, then the same model has these elements, as you can see on the slide as well, in front and in the back end of the um, of the unibuses or unicars which attach with uh, the other models uh, the same element so it can either pull or lift it to the station mm, yeah and if the previous option is somehow not possible for example long distances and so on it it, it would take a lot of time or, or whatever sos there might be then we have this security system inside in inside the interior as well behind, uh, underneath the seat where people can take it and pull, basically put it around their waist and lift their, them, themselves uh, perfectly well on the ground so it was demonstrated as well by the member of uh, skyway uh, well the worker of skyway who is a little bit more weight than than well yeah as you can see on the picture as well it's not that thin man, but he demonstrated it and landed perfectly, so nothing happened. And this video is also possible to find in your back office if you wish to have more information about it. But all right, then uh, in the end of <laughs> uh, safeness, if, in the end of this topic, I always like to show this picture because this is how everyday life goes on in tropical climates. In many of those, for example, in India or in Pakistan, where people ride on top and, well, underneath or all around a train. So, I believe our technology can be much, much safer. Yes. So, four point, we can also, we, we, we will manage to discuss this one as well today. Four point is that we have our own models and products, as I mentioned before, and here you can see the Uniwind, Unibike, Unicars, Unibuses, different Unibuses and different Unicars, and now the most recent one that will, well, that company will show, I hope quite soon, is the model which takes more than 100 person on board, and then of course, yeah, here are some pictures as well from the Kutenabak. And then, of course, these unicorns, because this is also a revolutionary mm, system. We can go both above the track structure and underneath it at the same time simultaneously. Downloading or the talking time is under one minute. It goes up to 90 kilometers per hour, so it's much faster at least average speed, which is about 20 or 15 kilometers with uh, truck drivers because they have to take these stops and traffic jams and so on. 
so it's much much more faster it's autonomous so therefore it's uh, very very uh, reasonable to for for at least these big companies to implement these systems so this this one also will be on the uh, next track structure shown there because that one will be two and a half kilometers long and will be possible to carry such a way but this one the smaller c container half of the size of the another one the unicant this one was also already presented to um, to people or to to yeah the open public and uh, they did it successfully but all right uh, sorry this one but yeah so we will end our webinar today so thank you everybody thank you thanks everyone to participate on tonight's webinar and on this slide Dalai Lama gave his personal blessing to Yunitsky so we have this spiritual strongness as well built in in the character both of Yunitsky and uh, Skyway the company and now we just need to do more action to develop the technology which is constantly under developing and then to show um, open public more different technology well different models possibilities sign new agreements and start constructing it all right so with these happy notes we are ending today's presentation the next presentation uh, or the next webinar in english will be held by me um, on 2nd of june um, the same uh, time and i wish now everybody great evening stay strong stay healthy and let's enjoy the summer all right Good. Bye, everybody.